Sewing on buttons is as easy as pulling your foot off. We are not gonna use a presser foot. We're actually gonna let the ankle of the foot sit down on our button. Before I sew, I like to lower the feed dogs, take off the accessory box, and reach behind the machine. Back here, there's a lever on the lower part that you're gonna push towards the inside of the machine. That's gonna make the stitches not travel forward as I set my zigzag to be perfect for this size of button. So when I come up to stitch number two, I'm gonna make the stitch width wide enough that when I bring the needle down, I wanna sink it into the hole. Notice that it first went into the left hole, so make sure that when you go over here, oh, we're a little wide, but let me see if I can catch it, yep. Make sure that both swings of the needle will land in the hole, and then all you need to do is just go ahead and stitch until, you know, usually eight or nine stitches is fine for a button, and then pull it right on out. That's easy peasy for sewing buttons on. There's a lot of things you can sew like that, charms or other types of tacks that would hold ribbons in place. You could even tack a quilt. Uh, for example, like instead of tie hand tying a quilt, you could do little tack marks or maybe even some decorative stitches instead. But all you have to do is do a little trim at the top. You can pull these threads to the back side and tie them off if you want, but you can also put a little fray check, some clear fabric glue that will seal these threads from ever coming loose. And that's a great little tip for going through your closet and never having to sew buttons on that have fallen off a garment.